week or so ago, uh, she told me, she's 28, or will be 28 in October, and uh, she told me that she really wants to replicate, you know, what uh, we we did in this In family. our family. That's yeah. right. That That's what she wants to do. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she sees that there's a need for that, especially mm -hmm. today in our society. Right. There are more blended and single parents now, I think, than there are just regular where the child, where the children have the mom and dad, and they're together. There are more families. I think so. Like that. And you know, mm -hmm. another thing is, you don't have to feel like you have to, you know, pro pro for provide a, an activity for your children all the time. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, you know, being able to be with them, relax mm -hmm. with them, uh, them to be relaxed with you. Just, do, just little things. Mm -hmm. Uh, looking at a book together, mm -hmm. watching a program on tele television together, a movie together, together, where you can talk about it, you know, and and uh, and, uh, but not to feel like you have to, you know, some have some type of organized activity mm -hmm. all the time, you know, no, or s to spend money. You don't have to spend money. That's 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 another yeah. thing. You and don't. just doing chores together is good. You know, doing the laundry together, teaching your kids how to how to do the laundry, how to fold the laundry, how to put the laundry up. You're you're interacting, and they're seeing mom take care of responsibilities, and they're learning how to do it themselves. Well, that's really what the Bible says: is to raise your children. You know, teach them God's way, just as you're going about your everyday business. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible really says. You know, just teach them here, just whatever you're doing, just teach your children. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I. Uh, I was talking earlier about when I was in the advertising business, and uh, it, it, it just grew quickly there to where, uh, you know, I wasn't at home. Uh, and uh, of course, I, I realized, and I was thinking, what, what are my members going to be? What are their members going to be of me? Uh, and uh, I changed that. Mm -hmm. And I went out of the business, and uh, I told all the people who work for us that I was sorry but they were just going to have to find another job and I went into at that time the wholesale screen printing business which we had kind of started a little bit or added to our business at that time and you know we built uh, a shop onto our home mm -hmm. and uh, I worked out of the home but the kids were there and all the neighborhood kids were there about yeah. every day too yeah and so uh, I did that, of course, uh, in their early years until I was in the ministry. So uh, I was able to be with my children. But that's what I wanted to be. You were wonderful. there, but I wanted to be there with you and wonderful. with them yeah. and to be a family. It was wonderful. And so, you know, we tried to set up our life, and I think you can do it. Uh, you know, where you can uh, use, you know, have more time for family time. It's very, very important. You know, it's easy. It's very easy to drift. Uh, you know, people drift apart just a little at a time. Yeah. That's how relationships go. For example, if, 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 uh, you know, if, if you say to uh, your your daughter, let's say, Trent, you say to your daughter, hey, do you want to go shopping with me? And they kind of make a face that lets you know they really don't want to go. Yeah. But they say, okay, well, it's not going to be a good trip. Right. You see? Yeah. And also, see, if that happens a number of times, and people need to consider that. They need to weigh how they respond. You know, with relationships with one another, especially in the family. A parent needs to weigh how they respond to a child. If a child comes in excited and they want to show you something they made or they drew or something they did or tell you about something they did, stop what you're doing if it's at all possible and give them undivided attention. Don't do it in a way to where you know you give the impression that the world revolves around them because you'll breed discontentment. Right. But you let them know that they're that you value them and you love them and you're interested in their life. But they're 
you know, you don't give them the, the impression that they're the most important right. person in the world <laughs> right. either and above other people. Right. <clears throat> but, you know, if, if a child comes in and you're busy, and you say, quit interrupting me, I'm talking, or I'm on the phone, mm -hmm. or something like that, you kind of disregard. That happens uh, a number of times, the child won't, you know, it yeah. hurts. Yeah, it does. So the child will then naturally feel reluctant to respond to you like they really want to respond. Mm -hmm. You won't even know it. Yeah. And so that's how relationships kind of drift uh, apart, a little by little. Uh, you know, most of the children are in daycare uh, during the summer or if they're preschool age. Uh, that's a sad reality in the United States, but that's the way it is. Then we have children that are in school. The schools have our children, unless you homeschool. We did some homeschooling mm -hmm. and were successful, but we also mm -hmm. had our children in school. I'm not against school, and I think homeschooling is great too, mm -hmm. if you can do it. Uh, but uh, because, you know, there's plenty of activities, there's plenty of interaction with people uh, in the church and just out here and other activities. Right. Uh, you don't really need public school for that. Mm -hmm. And you don't need public school for education either. No, because you really there's don't. plenty of there's plenty of uh, homeschooling that is just great. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it's been our experience really uh, that the homeschooling has been more efficient. Mm -hmm. And really our children thrive better in homeschool. Mm -hmm. But we have children who went through all of uh, public school too and yeah. you know and our middle daughter was you know made the dean's list several mm -hmm. times and she never was never homeschooled and mm -hmm. and you know and she's been very faithful in the lord and we've never you know really had any kind of problems with her she's been a real blessing and now she will be uh, 30 in august so mm -hmm. uh, but relationships can drift real easy by just how we react to one another. Just think about that a little bit. Uh, even with your friends, if if you're excited about something and you share it with a friend and they're not excited at all, they don't share, they don't even accommodate you and sharing some of your excitement back to you, uh, they are probably are going to be reluctant to come to you uh, with that type of excitement again. And children are that way too. And so, and how you respond to your children, uh, you know, you can, you can cause, make them feel like, uh, you know, that you're an open door, that they can come to you and- How much you, you have, value them, you value right, that relationship. That you value them, right. Yeah, that they're not just your child, that they're a person that you're involved in and you're, you're participating with them and, and you have this close relationship that you value. You know, I think uh, the main thing, you know, is, is to teach your children to tell the truth, to be honest, to be honorable. Uh, and I think this is extremely, extremely important. And that's to teach your children to love. Now, if you want to know what love is, read 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Love does not envy other people. Love does not get jealous at other people. Mm -hmm. And love does not seek its own interest above the interest, interest mm -hmm. of others. That is the attitude of Jesus Christ, who laid down his life for us. He was 